Hello people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, I ha hope that you guys have been enjoying the uh, drop in the stock market. Uh, we have some seen some nice forecast uh, that was actually happening in Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. I have posted an uh, up-to-date analysis of gold and silver and platinum on uh, my Patreon and that ended up much of it is worked at like exactly what we were thinking. So we are going to update that. One point I wanted to bring in, if you guys are interested in um, uh, in seeing the during the week uh, analysis, you can come uh, join me f on my Patreon for a very small fee uh, at patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green, and um, it's only twenty nine dollars US uh, per month, and then you'll be able to uh, see uh, one or two more uh, updated videos during the week uh, if we see a, um, a major thing happening or if I see that there is an update needed to be sent then I will definitely try to provide that update um, and that's available only on Patreon so if you want to do that otherwise I'll uh, keep on sharing the, um, the analysis on uh, YouTube on the weekend so in today's video we are going to definitely look at the Dow Jones and we'll look at S&P 500 um, I remind you when you guys uh, uh, some of you guys are actually seeing it from the previous they know uh, that prices were right over here when we uh, forecasted the forecast and the drop and then we have seen quite a bit so we're going to update that in all three uh, of the indices uh, Dow Jones 30, S&P 500, Nasdaq 100 we were also able to uh, forecast the uh, the drop in Tesla right from the top right over here too uh, right from actually this top right over here too and we're going to update that analysis as well Australian dollar uh, once again you guys can look at Patreon and see what's, um, what's forecasted but we can definitely dis discuss Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar uh, we'll omit British pound and euro for now I'll try to update that during the weekend uh, some ne work needs to be on done on both of them uh, and Japan is yen as well all three for now we'll omit and I'll try to update them uh, platinum there is an update already available so I'll be uh, discussing classism today silver and gold we we'll look at uh, crude oil and we we'll looked at cryptocurrency Bitcoin and now in Bitcoin if you guys have been wondering what happened it was trading right at the top when I told you guys that we we're gonna go down and then we have seen a nice drop not only that on our previous a uh, couple of days ago I posted a forecast that a jump is expected um, in the correction of all this price movement and we'll discuss further what's expected now uh, and where the larger price pattern is expected to be so all of this is available in today's analysis if you guys do like my content please uh, do push that thumbs up button and I'll try to answer all the comments if you do so um, let's start <coughs> so I do believe that first of all the uh, th the drop is halted for right now uh, we have seen three drops right from over here three lows one second and third uh, I'm not going to discuss the labeling right over here too I'm just discussing one point though I'm expecting that this whole price movement that actually started from the top is going to get corrected now uh, does that mean that we could be correcting the whole move there is a possibility that we can be correcting whole move so in that case do not keep this in mind that we will not be going beyond that point this is an important point right over here so can we be correcting the whole price movement yes and uh, the price movement is going to be complicated uh, as of today I'm expecting that we will be seeing some um, price movement upside now we have seen enough downside movement so what we can do if the larger forecast is going to be the bullish now we can do is every time uh, we see a pullback on an hourly time frame every time you see a pullback a proper pullback like this one right over here and if there happens another one and you see a structure forming that pullback would be indicating that we should go be trading upward all right right now we do not have a pullback so wait for the prices to create a pullback and when that pullback is complete then we'll be heading upward and uh, this is going to be happening on an hourly time frame uh, as prices go up uh, th this will give us a chance to look at the market so I'm expecting a pullback whenever it happens here or here or here wherever you see a pullback happening a support coming in action I will be going long and this is on hourly time frame and as the um, as the pattern heads into the completion we'll be able to look further a um, couple of patterns that are normally expected on this stage are either a flat correction or the zigzag correction we can definitely go all the way right over here 
come right over here and then go down this way flat correction or we can completely do so this one a correction and do this one as well so both things are possible and the only way to deal with that is on smelling uh, trading with a smaller time frame a 15 minute pullbacks to uh, 15 minute time frame or one hourly time frame pullbacks and pullbacks are nasty things right so use them properly a similar behavior is expected on S&P 500 uh, I'm expecting that we have seen a final uh, bottom right over here so if I was a bearish right from the top I would be exiting at the position right now I would wait for the pullbacks on a hourly time frame to go long right over here and then this is going to be lasting for next few trading days I'm going to long the uh, the stock that I'm interested in and uh, was showing the same pattern or if you want to trade S&P 500 itself then I'll be uh, longing it and we have a similar pattern in the NASDAQ uh, believe that the downward pattern is complete right now and we'll be moving upward once again the pullbacks should be uh, traded to go long Tesla we have seen double bottom forming right over here too a pullback once again this is a huge drop it was around 1150 uh, right over here to about $700 or $680 let's say you exit here to here is still a good drop from the top uh, so right now we'll switch from larger time frame which was daily time frame to a smaller time frame hourly or 15 minute wait for pullbacks and then as soon as the pullback is happen then prices come out of the pull uh, the structure let's say and then you can draw the trend line right let's say right over here too all right so we can draw the trend line and go long every time it pullbacks happen uh, we can go long and wait for the position to run out wherever it runs out uh, as the prices head into the upper section area we'll be look into the able to look into the uh, the pattern itself and be able to forecast exactly pattern what is happening Australian dollar I told my previous analysis on patreon uh, we were looking at reversal uh, and that has happened on hourly time frame I believe so that but we still need to come out of this green support line I believe so that's gonna happen very soon as soon as that happens we are expected to go on that in that area so I'm right now bullish on Australian dollar and this is my outlook for Australian dollar on a weekly time frame uh, let me delete that delete that all right so this is the next uh, bullish uh, run that we are expecting for Australian dollar okay New Zealand dollar once again I'm expecting that we should be able to continue in this region right over here too Give me a moment, I can clear uh, the garbage a little for you guys. I use this study um, and here is the support line. When price are able to come out of the support line, then we'll be looking to go up in that area right over here too. And that's our forecast for New Zealand dollar. Canadian dollar has already gone uh, down quite a bit and I'm expecting um, that we have already actually dropped from the support line right over here too. Canadian dollar is showing quite a bit of strength and I'm expecting that this strength will bring the prices further down right over here in this area so that's our forecast for Canadian dollar British pound let's ignore that platinum is showing very very interesting price behavior and we were able to forecast this price movement and this price movement this one forecasted was on my patreon a clear message I was I told you guys that I was seeing double top and we are expecting for the prices to drop right now we are seeing a double bottom right over here too let's bring a 15 minute chart and let's draw that support line that we are drawing on different uh, right over here going the theme all the cross and right now we are looking for platinum to go up in this area right over here too to about one thousand uh, dollars from nine hundred and thirty six to one thousand dollar and uh, this is the major swing that right now we're expecting in platinum and uh, we're expecting to be somewhere around the top and then we'll have to analyze a little more on the top around that area silver too uh, so the platinum is here the point 
if some of you guys are looking at it we have triple bottoms right for now forming right over here too and the support structure is happening right around just above the triple bottom the prices have been refused from this level gone up and a support structure is happening could that mean that we are going to be seeing this at the bottom too early to say um, and this is the same thing I'm looking on it I'm seeing platinum gold and silver as way oversold and but right now the smaller time frame def analysis is definitely indicating that we are going to go in this region I could easily say that the long-term trough forecast is going upward but right now I'm not giving long-term forecast uh, reason being because there is a lot of mess up in the markets so I'm keeping a close eye on the smaller time frame analysis right now so right now our major uh, price target is in this area and then we'll definitely keep a close eye on the price action see how it unfolds silver as well let's have a look um, on hourly time frame on my patreon page I posted an uh, update on um, on Monday actually and I was able to tell you guys the reason because prices came below right over here too I was expecting that we are gonna see a turn going all the way right over here when prices fell below I posted an update on uh, patreon giving a bearish outlook on silver so right now I'm expecting that as soon as the prices go beyond this trend line we are going to be bullish on silver uh, for a smaller time frame at least that's the less that's the important thing and then, then we are heading to go in this region right over here too this is the region for silver at least and then once again we'll keep a close eye but the major, major swing I'm expecting is going to be upward in silver uh, we have broken uh, the bottom right over here too these two bottoms are broken this whole area is very important and then we have broken that area but silver has a tendency uh, to break these areas and then sharply reverse uh, for example right over here too we have these areas broken and then sharply reverse if you look at these areas on the left for the light in this area as well the area was broken and then sharply reversed so instead of giving a long forecast uh, I'll keep an eye on a four hourly time frame right now I'm definitely uh, bullish on silver but before we can actually call that or confirm that call we definitely need to come out of the the trend line giving an indication that we are going upward uh, in this top area gold is um, let's have a look we are seeing a similar behavior pattern on um, commodity currencies and the on the commodity itself that includes gold and silver we need to break this uh, support line and that happens then we are heading upward this is going to be our major target which is nineteen hundred dollar for gold I'll be updating on patreon uh, if something changes uh, but right now I'm expecting that you should actually be seeing and that con that call can be confirmed when prices break that uh, trend line start right from the top right over here too if you guys are looking at it you can consider it as a smaller degree one two three four and five and then we have a correction so this is a smaller five day wave degree pattern completed a correction completed let's say one two a stronger wave three four and five so this is how I'm considering it is if you want to consider an Elliott wave pattern that's why I'm considering that either we break this support line right over here too or either we break this line top right over here too giving an indication that this pattern is complete where wave one has a, a clear 5f structure wave three is the single price movement is a sh is larger than wave five but wave one is the largest one so we are going to keep a close eye on the pattern as well let's see how things unfold on gold silver a lot of mass up is expected crude oil we are seeing an initial uh, pat um, uh, price pattern we were expecting that this price pattern would continue further we're expecting the completion of the pattern right over here too instead we have seen that things are not happening we are considering right now this as a b and c if some of you guys are uh, remember uh, my analysis on bitcoin then uh, you might want to go on back on Bitcoin analysis we have seen a similar pattern in Bitcoin as well and this is for regular people who have seen my analysis on Bitcoin if you know what I mean then do give a thumbs up or mention it and I uh, I would know you know <laughs> otherwise you need to go and check it out back again so right now what I'm expecting right over here too on a crude oil 
I'm expecting that this is wave A, this is wave B, which itself is a flat correction, and then this is going to be wave C. We have completed wave 1 and wave 2. Wave 3 and f uh, wave 3 probably is already complete, or you're very close to completion. A pullback is supposed to be expected. Another price movement upward would be completing a five wave structure, and that would be completing a wave A, wave B, and wave C structure. And when that pattern is complete, the, and then we are heading downward. A lot of time, this pattern is a lot messier. In that case, if prices drop below this one, right over here too, which is 101.30, giving an indication that the pattern got completed right over here too. But I think we are going to see a pullback and a wave up. That will be a five wave structure, hence completing a five, three, five wave structure, which is going to be a zigzag pattern on a larger time frame. Look at the uh, the time frame that is happening is happening on a four hourly time frame or a daily hourly time frame uh, on a daily time frame and that's very important giving an indication that when this pattern is complete we are to expect a larger move downward all right so we have seen the price movement downward right from over here we have seen another price movement downward right over here too where this wave end will give an indication what wave pattern we are looking at if this wave ends right over here too not going beyond that one then this can be considered as wave one and two a smaller wave one a smaller wave two of three and then this is going to be wave three of three so quite a strong wave is expected this one right over here too in crude oil so crude oil is going getting very closer all because of this pattern now giving an indication and let's say that if the the trouble top is matte right over here we'll discuss that correction at that point right then but we'll still be heading downward. Bitcoin, I already told you guys that we are to, uh, if you look at my previous analysis, you guys are well aware of it. I remember when I, it was trading right over here and I gave a forecast and someone asked, what's your point you're looking for? I'm like, maybe around 10,000 dish. And the person said, well, it has to be some black swan event or something. Yeah, because the larger, pat larger patterns are, larger waves are competing. If I'm right and the wave, uh, the cycle degree wave is competing right over here, we are going further down, way further down in this region even. So let's see how it ha happens. We'll take one thing at a time. Let's say have a look on the hourly time frame. So a couple of things are possible right now. Mm, the correction that actually started from right over here, let's have a look on a 15 minute time frame and give me a minute to quickly and I'll I believe that the the price movement that actually started from over here is yet not complete uh, so it looks to me that this is probably wave A and wave B and wave 1 and 2 3 and 4 and 5 whether it's going to be stay in this region or it can easily go in this region too so right now I am going to be uh, not shorting Bitcoin I want to uh, see the completion of this pattern since we have seen quite a bit of price movement right from the top right over here a couple of things can happen we can see this pattern a b and c which is a flat correction or we can see a, a five wave structure and a correction and another five wave structure giving us a zigzag correction in the completing in this region all right and it can also contain in this region too so right now, the best idea, I mean, this is the thing happening on a larger time frame. We can actually zoom in on a smaller time frame, wait for the pullback and go long. Wait for the pullback and go long. All right. And when the price movement is complete, then we'll be out of the market. Uh, so keep, uh, keep your price, uh, you know, stop losses uh, going along the way as you move up, as the prices move up, keep the stop losses going all the way up if you are trading uh, Bitcoin actively. The larger pattern... Uh, I believe is yet bearish. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that the bearish outlook is complete in Bitcoin. Uh, we were expecting a larger proof price movement downward correction. We are seeing a price movement downward a correction, and uh, another price movement downward is expected. Uh, so a lot of noise is expected downward. Right now we are in a corrective stage, and after that we'll head downward. But if you do want to see uh, trade that on a 15-minute time frame. And then I can definitely tell you, I already told you guys what to do. So wish you good luck with your trading. If you want to enjoy me, join me on my Patreon, I've already given you guys my Patreon address. Uh, I'll be sharing my during the week analysis on Patreon. It's a very small fee if you are trading 
Um, and if you like my content, come join me at patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye bye.